Hey everybody, what's up? This is Retro Care Retro Care Reviews trying out the 24K, not 24, uh, I think 24 frames with a 4, 4K. Uh, the reason why I'm asking, I'm telling you my resolution straight up is because I've had a bit of a snag with uh, YouTube's HD problem. It kind of resolved by now, so <clears throat> best guess if it hasn't, uh, when this new video dropped, uh, happy post uh, screen review if that's going to be indication scheduling wise. So, first and foremost, uh, before we get to my What If uh, Marvel Legends Captain Carter review, I did do a little bit of an update with the set, as you can see here. This is my tribute to Lindsay Ellis, uh, former C uh, Channel Awesome alumni, former, unfortunately due to recent events, uh, video essay uh, personality and obviously content creator. Uh, go to her, her tweets or whatever, what's left of it, <laughs> for the situation. Or go to my previous review, which was during the top five best and worst movies of the year. That pretty much explains as much as I can with the situation in the nicest way of terms. So, uh, that all being said, one last uh, bit of, I guess, updates that came ahead of time as far as new reviews go. The Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, um, I guess, upgraded suit, which really wasn't. Um, minor spoilers to, well, suit-wise for No Way Home, in case anyone hasn't seen the most obvious stuff that got TikTok, TikTok spoilers to death. Uh, don't have a TikTok yet. Been thinking about it for, like, you know, usual figure um, stuff that you've been seeing in the shorts. So, I might bleed over there if I still got the files. So, that's another issue for another day. Yeah. Starting off at the top for this figure as a quick preview. It's not bad. I This is my first MCU Spider-Man in general. So, um, a lot of it looks like pretty much the Infinity War um, Peter, which just without the mandibles. Uh, straight out of a uh, Civil War, but something about the head sculpt just gives me like virtual Spider-Man vibes, and maybe they reused a little bit of that here and there. I don't know. I'll probably get get more into it when I uh, pair it up with a lot of the old uh, pizza Spider-Man molds that I have, which is obviously uh, the obviously pizza Spider-Man itself. Uh, most of the Clone Saga figures, like uh, obviously Kane and Ben, and I think a uh, Superior Spider-Man. So that all said, let's talk about well, Sharon herself, not Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. Uh, anyway, it's been a while since I've watched most of the, the MCU stuff, so and the show in particular. So let's get the articulation of her out of the way. She looks pretty damn good. Uh, Likeness-wise, she looks about as close as she can with uh, Haley Ackwell's animated version of the character, What If-wise. Um, also, last up for stuff that I probably won't be doing since it was very expensive last time uh, on a certain other wave. The build the figure, which is getting Watt to the Watcher. To make a long story short, if you want to get Jeffrey Wright's version of the character, you will need not only this character, but zombie uh, Captain America from the uh, yeah the Marvel Zombies episode. You're going to need the T'Challa if he was a Star-Lord uh, version of the figure. And uh, Spider-Man in the same Marvel Zombies episode. Uh, the Dark... Uh, Doctor Strange, who's also going to be in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, what if, um, oh damn, I forgot her character's name. Also in the Star-Lord episode, and Sylvie from Loki. So, that being said, uh, the figure uh, itself uh, looks pretty good. Um, starting off at the top, it has what many people in the uh, Marvel Legends community have been wanting for any female uh, character whatsoever with this body mold. A double-jointed elbow, and... As a comparison of how far they've definitely come in the last couple of years, the best with the single jointed elbow that I have, the Marvel Legends uh, Wolverine X twenty three, during I think the all new uh, all new different run. Um, it's still a single joint, but it does enough to manipulate you into thinking it has a double joint. But yeah, still a double joint. Point of comparison, about the same. So I don't know. I think uh, with uh, uh, Sharon's. Uh, uh, body mold that uh, shows a lot better. Sorry, Peggy. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm a little confused because I've had a busy day and stuff like that. It's personal life-wise, nothing crazy than usual, so that's good. So, uh, getting to the point, this is probably the closest, uh, as comic fans, you'll probably get to a Captain Britain due to the grounds that Captain Britain and the Braddock family are X-Men characters, so that's kind of where we are. Um, quick size comparison, MCU-wise, since I don't have sh uh, Sean on standby, so I'm going to use uh, the upcoming review here as a quick uh, size comparison body proportion wise it's pretty good um pretty even length uh, especially on the uh, feet department when it comes to not just the upcoming uh review but also for uh captain carter herself uh peggy looks great in this uh mold 
Um, I don't know if there's any changes in the hip department when it comes to the full articulation. Um, what I have noticed lately um, is that the shield itself is very hard to uh, take apart. I have to uh, basically take out the hold, uh, holding hand to slide it in. Um, I'm pretty sure that's more of the standard with a lot of Captain America figures. Again, this is my first jump into the madness when it comes to having a Cap figure in any version of the character, either comic or MCU-wise. And as you can see, it holds together pretty well. Um, as far as uh, poses I did online go, it's kind of what you saw. It was very experimental. I kind of did it with a low light sensor kind of thing. By that, I mean put my lamps on and hope for the best. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess pro tip wise, if you want to do a cheapo version of my uh, photos. It's not really hard to manipulate. You could probably do it yourself. Uh, long story short, it's there. As for uh, painting and sculpting, it looks pretty good. Like I said, it's a very good Union Jack representation for Britain and all that, since I'm a filthy American trying to explain that. Sorry for that in advance. Uh, the good thing I like to say so far is the boots are very solid. Um, I think Jay Hernandez uh, mentioned that in his double review with not only this figure, but uh, Zombie Cab. Um, getting to... Oh, news on him. I think he finally got an official version of the Retro Wave uh, Black Costume Spider-Man. I don't know if he's going to pick up more of that wave, but I know uh, Dave from Display Marvel Behavior got most of the wave. And obviously was a sucker for Ben Riley uh, Spider-Man, so that was pretty cool there. And to finish off most of the articulation, uh, head moves pretty well, but you're going to use most of her diaphragm, uh, I guess, ab crunch here. Uh, it's doubling for that to basically go for a full look uh, kind of vibe uh keep it neutral like usual and it looks down pretty good like i said uh the double joint knees are pretty good now i think it's the same with the knee i might have misnamed it uh probably not but it's i don't know possible uh, i just got this figure the last couple of weeks so i don't want to break it that easily and Already you can see my issue with the shield. Again, I don't know if this is across the board with a lot of MCU cap figures. So I'm going to be hesitant with the 20th anniversary uh, version of the character for the Marvel Legends line as a whole. But um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it next time. As for everything else, you still have your basic uh, thigh cut uh, swivels down to, I think, boot swivels? No, that's that's definitely molded in. So any figure models are going to have a fun time getting a thigh or sorry, shin uh, style uh, swivel there on the leg joint as for everything else um it was pretty good uh like i said it was great for photo shoots especially on my short uh my new year short so card there in case you guys want to see that as for my overall rating for the show itself since i didn't have time to actually do it in 2021 uh where do i start if i can get my oh huh. not as planned out as i thought sorry for that as for the show itself it was actually pretty good my favorite episodes of course was the zombie uh episodes uh, obviously sharon's uh debut uh to kick off the whole what if uh, initiative as far as uh, multiverse goes for uh marvel legend sorry marvel for mcu proper uh jeffrey writes uh what to the watcher was a great narrator throughout all of this and i hope he shows up in multiverse of madness same goes for everybody here because like i said i do not have time for pretty much everyone here but for their end game uh, final boss for being a what if Ultron one, but had like all of uh, Thanos' stones was actually really good, very engaging, very anime inspired with most of the fights. Because again, Killmonger's there and he had a lot of anime inspirations for most of his mech designs with his episode if he was around during phase one. Really good stuff, I totally recommend it. Um, animation might change by the time we get to other stuff. I think uh, Marvel Zombies is getting their own sideshow along with uh, Spider Man also getting a freshman year uh, show that I might have mentioned in the shorts news wise. Other than that, uh, I'm going to wait and see and see if they're good. If anything, I'll probably do a dedicated Spider uh, reviews with the with the Marvel Heroes Legends figures with that. So, my overall rating, um, now in 4K, for uh, my first Marvel Legends uh, review in 4K, is pretty high. Uh, giving off of my quality for my new iPhone and all, um, it's showing off the right amount of detail for the articulation and stuff like that. Like I said, sculpting-wise, it's definitely Haley Aquil's. Uh, version of Peggy in this uh, what if timeline and uh, just even a side by side with the uh, fan art or whatever here animation wise it's about on point as you're gonna get and I'm very happy to report still even in this review that the boots are definitely planted um the thing with female figures is that they have a hard time holding their ground as far as boots go even with a crooked angle like 
Oh, well, not a, it's not all perfect, but as you can see, they do, in this particular body mold's case, does um, bounce back pretty hard. I hope that becomes the standard for future female figures. Um, I do uh, wanted to make a quick anecdote about the previous uh, wave that I think was in here. Yes, this is also, again, a preview to his figure and stuff like that, but uh, the Shriek figure here, even in the promotion art, just looks pretty all over the place with that neutral face, even though it should be like a screaming face, but... I think what I think many people who were reviewing that figure last time was that it was pretty much using uh, Laura's body mold in like all the cheaper cheapo ways instead of just pretty much thinning out most of the best parts of the of this type of figure's articulation. So again, if I had a time to judge that figure, I'd be in the same camp as well of how I got dis I would have been disappointed on that as well. But ultimately, you do get a good MCU Spider-Man figure like usual out of it. So. That and Miles, so again, I'll talk more about the wave as I get to my dedicated review. If not, I'll probably do a quick summary on my social media as a quick short, if anything else. So, trimming's out of the way and stalling for time. Uh, it's pretty average. Um, like I said, the only thing that's hindering it is my, uh, I guess, user-friendliness, or I guess my, uh, I gotta, the more I gotta, like, handle kind of stuff. It's not, <sighs> I'm forgetting my analogies here. It's been a long day. Sorry, guys. Um, I'll figure out, um, most of this is very, basically a learning curve. Now I get my terminology out of the way. Anyway, learning curves for the shields aside, articulation-wise, everything's good. Um, she doesn't have any hand options. Uh, if they were to do a deluxe figure, if, um, the show gets popular for, like, a 10th anniversary edition of their own, I'll probably go along those lines as see, I don't know, more grab joints or maybe, like, uh, a gun hand for her to recreate, uh, one of, uh, Captain, for, uh, most of First Avengers' uh, biggest scenes just with her in it, like everyone did in that episode, so... Overall, it's a 9 out of 10. It's pretty solid. Again, my learning curves with the shield aside, I'll probably figure out with future Captain America figures going forward. As for a good representation for what if, it's actually pretty solid. And um, price point wise, I don't really know as of this recording. I got this as a Christmas gift. So thank you, Tim, in advance for that. Um, it's probably ranging around 30 to 40, 35 now. I don't know the actual prices. If you see her at like a Disney store nowadays, it probably hit like 40 or 45. Again, do the premium that it is a Disney figure. And they're using mostly a more Legends figure instead of, I don't know, select because they usually get easier on the prices with selects. Anyway, that all being said, uh, what did you think of this review? Do you think this was a little too, uh, I guess, speedrun, speedrunners despite having a new semi set that's already trying to demolish itself? Yeah, that's not a welcome to 2022, then I don't know what it is. So, sorry for the mis, uh, I guess, naming, or I guess, uh, in this case, misuse of uh, Lindsay's books. Like I said, I am planning to read the books. I just want to use it as my way of tribute for her once I'm done reading the books. This is a quick preview for pretty much everything that's going to be for the channel going forward when it comes to figure reviews. That all being said, I am a disembodied, but still here, not walk to the Watcher, Retro Kid, Retro Care Reviews. This was a really good figure. And other hand here to now the end screen, as you see here. First hand here to my shorts playlist for when I debuted this figure during New Year's Eve. Other hand here to sub to the channel. And as always, thank you as always for sitting through all of this weirdness that is my figure reviews. But much like the multiverse itself, it is very vast. It is very weird and totally worth it. So, like I said, thank you for watching. I wish I had time to show off more of the figure, but with that all being said, uh, we'll do more swoosh. Take care, guys, for real. And uh, it'll get better. I know 4K is weird and all for my size and my ch and my channel as a whole, but it's change, and I think it's change we all need. Anyway, take care, guys.